All right, at this point, you might want to set up a domain name. So currently we have the Laravel app up and running with the database connection. And, uh, but it is just the environment that we have. So if I go here and I say here, Elastic Beanstalk. So here is our app. So currently it is just going to this URL. We click here, we load the app, that's fine. But it's not the domain we are looking for. So let's do this. So first I have a domain and I uh, want to transfer. So what I want to do basically, uh, it should work with the AWS. So what do we do? We go to the services and here we need to search for route 53 and you will get this service here. So click there. Now here I have a hosted zone for a website. We need to create another hosted zone for uh, the website where we want to host, uh, have this application working. So for that, what we need to do, I click here, hosted zone. Here you will see the create hosted zone. So just click there. Now here it says the uh, domain name. So uh, which domain we want to uh, add. So I'm going to add here the domain name. All right. After that, you can add the description. It's totally up to you. It's going to be public hosted. And then I say create hosted zone. It created the hosted zone. And here we have the domain. Now here I have the name servers for it. So you can even see these here. Now I need to go to the hosting provider or the uh, provider of this domain. And in domain settings, I need to update these name servers. All right, so I am here with the name servers, the previous name servers. Yeah, I'm gonna change. Any hosting provider you'll be using is going to be quite similar. So it's just going to be here. So here I say change uh, name servers. Now what we want to do here, we want to paste uh, the uh, name servers that we have here. So okay, I copy this, go here, replace with this, copy this, and then replace with this just like that. We need to add all four. So name servers basically have, works this way. You now you can see name servers chained. Now it might take up to 24 hours to uh, changes to take effect. So we need to wait. Generally after an hour or two you can try to check if it has changed or not. So and what is going to happen? Next time when user goes to inksap.com, it is going to go towards the AWS. And here in the AWS, we have route setup. And here we need to tell that when the user is looking for this, where we want to take the user. So for that, what we need to do, we need to create few records. So here, if we go, we have apps opening up here, right there on this URL. So if I go here back to the Elastic Beanstalk. Here in the app and uh, app. So our URL is right here. So we need to make sure when someone comes to inksout.com that user should be taken to this URL because when we click this URL, this loads our application. So that's what we want to do. So what we do here, basically we add a record and here, first time you just leave this blank so that if someone types ink.sam.com or whatever the domain name you have, where it is going to be taken. Then here, record type going to be A. Then here, in value, we're not going to pass IP address. We ain't going to 
uh, enable the alias. And here we can say uh, the beanstalk environment. And here you need to select the region. Now, if you remember, uh, initially I showed you what we need to do. We need to just go here and look for. I'm gonna select for say Ohio. And here I have the. Yeah, so for me it is Ohio. Initially, when I created the app, you can see that on the top it's Ohio. So then whatever is selected here, you will be able to see your. Uh, under there, so make sure you remember that. So here it is Ohio. I selected Ohio inside the Beanstalk environment, and then I get the three options. So the top one is the test app, the, that, the one we created just a moment ago. So we'll click that and create a group. It creates record successfully. We have the inks out, so if someone comes here, goes directly with that route. Now we create another record, same way, this time www. We don't need to pass dot, we already have dot here. A record, it's just exactly the same. We say beanstalk environment, and then we go to, in our case, in my case, it's Ohio, so I select again. And in your case, you might some need to select different. So I select this, create record. Hit create records. And beautifully, it is going to work just fine. So once uh, the name servers are updated, anyone who comes to the inksound.com will be redirected to uh, this value. All right, so let's see that because we updated the name servers, and uh, yeah, let's see if our site is working now or not. So I go here and simply say inksound.com, hit there, and you can see our app is up. So here we logged into the test user, so I'm just going to log in and I'm going to use the test user test and yeah, I'm just going to log in here. What I do, I'm going to register a new user here, so I'm going to say here, uh, let's say Roger and Roger at gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and register. All right, we have Roger registered. Now here, I'm gonna go to uh, our app, and I'm gonna close these from here. And if I go here, it opens. I go to home. I log out, log in again, and I'm gonna Roger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Login. So you can see that I created that account on the uh, inksound.com and here logged in in our app URL. So it's the same thing. So uh, we successfully redirected the user. So anyone who comes to inksound.com goes to uh, our AWS stored instance. So yeah, that's working. Guys, if you like the content of this channel, you can donate a small amount. You can go to zonks.biz and click on the donate button up there. Also, you can subscribe to the channel, share the content with others, like and give your feedback so that we can improve our videos and the website content. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And I'll go.